Hello first graders, today we're going to continue with our target of counting money. We're going to be adding numbers together and then comparing those totals. Alright, today you will need your workbook, so go ahead and find your workbook and one pencil. Alright, friends, we're going to start on page 64 together. I have a whole bunch of coins in this bucket. I'm going to take turns pulling out one at a time and writing down the amount. On my first turn, I pull out a nickel and another nickel. Five cents plus five cents equals ten cents. I better put that cents mark in there. I'm going to compare that when I pull out two more coins. This time I pulled out a penny and a dime. One cent plus ten cents equals eleven cents. You should be doing this in your workbook right along with me. If you need to pause the video at any time to catch up, go ahead and do that. Down below it says compare your totals using greater than, less than, or equal. So I'm comparing this total 10 cents to this total 11 cents. 10 cents is less than 11 cents. All right, same thing again. Let's see. This time I got a nickel and a penny. 5 cents plus 1 cent equals six cents and ooh, a quarter and a nickel 25 cents plus five cents equals counting on five more would be 30 cents i'm going to compare my totals down below six cents and 30 cents. Go ahead right now and write in the correct symbol. Which symbol should go in between six and 30? Did you come up with the less than symbol? You would be right. All right, again, friends. Ooh, same thing as both before, right? Five cents plus 25 cents. This is the cent sign. It's a little C with a line. Equals 30 cents. Compared to <laughs> two pennies? Oh boy. I think we know which one is greater and which one is less. Two pennies, two cents, 30 cents compared to two cents. Go ahead, use the right symbol. Pause the video if you need more time to think about it. Did you come up with 30 is greater than two cents? I bet you did. One more. We haven't done this combination before. Five cents plus 10 cents. Sometimes friends, I like to think of it the opposite way. So I'm going to think in my head, 10 plus five. 10 plus five more is 15. That's easier to think than five plus 10. All right, compared to, oh no. Two pennies again. I bet you know which one will win. Go ahead and finish your work right now. You do it on your own. Go ahead and write the numbers on the two lines and then compare them. Pause the video until you are done. All right, did you come up with 15 here? Two here, that's one of my sense symbols. So we know we're talking about money. And then 15 is definitely greater than 2. 
All right, friends, tomorrow we're going to do the same thing on the next page in the workbook, but we're going to use a few more coins to make the numbers a little bit bigger. All right, see you guys tomorrow, friends.